In this video, I am going to discuss uh, the basics of trim and stability. Now I understand that the name of my YouTube channel is Online Third Mate. However, during my time on board the ship, there are details and jobs of a chief mate that I have done properly and got me an early recommendation and promotion on board the ship. Okay? Regarding the knowledge of trim and stability. And I am willing to share those knowledge to you. Okay? So, let's get started. Let's start with Law of Archimedes. Okay, what is Law of Archimedes? A body immersed in a liquid loses or suffers a loss of weight equal to the fluid it displaces. For example, you have a 7-ton block of uh, an object okay, with measurements of uh, let with height 5 meter by 2 meter by 2 meter is submerged in salt water, 1.025, 1.025 is your uh, salt water density. Okay, it will displace a volume of water equal to its weight, which is 7 tons. Okay, next is density. What is density? Mass per unit of volume. So how do you compute for density? You have your mass or displacement divided by your volume. Oh, you want to identify your volume, you go with the mass divided by density. Or if you want to find your displacement or mass, density multiplied by your volume okay fresh water density is 1.000 tons per cubic meter salt water density or seawater density is 1.025 tons per cubic meter now we should discuss about dock water and brackish water density okay 1.001 okay to 1.024 is your brackish water or dock water in some box okay and sometimes you have this thing called extreme water density which is less than 1.000 tons per cubic meter for example uh, in Panama Canal we've got densities of up to uh, 0 0.99 some cases 0 0.98 tons per cubic meter in Panama Canal or extreme water density more than 1.025 for example in Red Sea if I remember correctly yeah, yeah uh, we've got density of around 1.032 tons per cubic meter Okay, this is your uh, extreme water uh, density. Okay, now if we go up there, let's discuss about displacement. What is displacement? Okay, actual weight of ship and all aboard her at any given time. I'll give you an example. Okay, seven ton box shape ship. Okay, on other books we have uh, formulas for ship shape, but this time on this example we are going to discuss about box shape. Okay. Formulas and competitions about ship shape will, you know, we'll discuss that one in the future. But right now, box shape muna tayo, okay? Example is 7 ton box shape ship with the, uh, you know, measurements of 5 meter by 2 meter by 2 meter. You have to find the volume in salt water and fresh water. Again, from the formula earlier, okay, we want to find the volume, okay? You have the displacement, which is the 7 ton, and you've got your density for salt water and fresh water which is here okay so if we try to solve this okay by this formula okay mass divided by what's your mass okay let's find first uh, salt water it says here uh, salt water okay volume equals what's your mass mass divided by your density okay the mass will be 7 tons don't forget the unit and salt water density 1.025 tons per cubic meter okay so if you have your calcu in you okay i have my calcu here okay 7 divided by 1.025 is 6.83 okay cancel cubic meters this will be your volume okay for uh seawater okay or salt water okay now we go with the uh, fresh water, okay? V equals M again, 7 tons divided by your density for fresh water. What's your fresh water? Again, 1.00, 1.000 tons per cubic meter. Okay, I don't know if you can still see. Okay, 7 tons, okay, 7 tons divided by 1.000 equals, again, very basic. 7, okay, so your volume will be 7, 0. Okay, there we go. This will be our volume. Now, 
in box-shaped ships, okay? Again, we focus on the uh, box-shaped ships. We don't focus first in uh, ship shapes, okay? If you want to find, okay, the volume of displacement, you have to, you know, multiply all of this. Length times width times trough, okay? You have to multiply all of this. But if you want to find the graph, okay, volume, okay, as your numerator, and then divide it by the product of your length and width. On the second scenario, second question is, determine the drops from salt water and fresh water. Again, this mnemonic circle is applicable for, again, let, let me just remind you, for box-shaped ship. This is not uh, applicable for uh, ship-shaped ships because, uh, although there is a difference of uh, maybe 0.5, 0.10, Okay, but uh, we want to be accurate as much as possible. Okay, so again, we go to this formula. If you want to, again, number two, determine drafts for uh, salt water and fresh water. Again, from the formula, okay, draft, okay, draft, okay, let me just, uh, okay, for uh, salt water density, okay, salt water, we go with the formula, draft equals volume of displacement divided by length times width okay and then if we replace what is the volume from the top okay salt water density this is our volume for salt water density 6.83 okay you have your uh, okay cubic meters divided by what's the length and the width okay you have a 5 meter by 2 Okay, so 5 times 2, so your draft will be 0.683. Okay, you have this for uh, salt water. Okay, you have your draft for salt water. This is the draft for uh, salt water. Okay, for fresh water, okay, if we try to find the Okay, draft equals volume of displacement divided by length times width. What's the volume of displacement, displacement again? 7.0. Okay, from the answers earlier, divided by your 5 times 2. So the draft will be in fresh water, okay, density, uh, fresh water density, will be 7 divided by 5, okay, divided by 10, will be equals to 0 0.70, okay. Now, you may notice, okay, the answers are different. Why? From fresh water to salt water, your draft decreases, okay. We started from uh, uh, here, okay, salt water density, Okay, the salt water density here is, well, your draft's gonna be 0 0.68. Uh, may, may draft ka na 0 0.68 dito. So ngayon, pag napunta ka naman sa fresh water, okay, your draft will increase. Okay, your draft will increase. Okay, in other words, your ship will go down. Okay, or <laughs> will submerge more in the water. Okay, so let me say it one more time. If your ship is floating, in salt water density, okay, which is 1.025, okay, this is the draft that you will get. But if you are floating in fresh water, your draft will increase. In the notes that I have put here, fresh water to salt water, your draft decreases, which is this. But if you're floating from salt water to fresh water, your draft increases, which is 0.7. So then again, these are just the basics of trim and stability. Okay, basics of density, basics of uh, uh, displacement. Okay, so I know this is a very quick video. If you have questions, drop below. Okay, just comment comment down below. And then again, hope you guys learned something new. If you have corrections, suggestions, or questions, please do not hesitate on commenting down. Okay, hope you guys learned something new. Be happy, be healthy, and most importantly, to God be all the glory. Keep safe.